Hello, my name is Shmuel Bowman, and I am the executive director of Operation Life Shield. Kibbutz Olamim is one of the closest uh, kibbutzim to the Gaza border. It contains many communities, um, and they're all within very short range uh, rocket attack. The siren goes off, and you have about 10 seconds to run to a, a shelter. On the other hand, if it's a mortar, a mortar uh, shell literally goes up and goes down, which means you'd have between zero and between seven to 10 seconds. There's really not a lot of time here, and you have to, you have to really uh, be quick and aware that at any split second, even now, even right now, at this very second, uh, there could be an alarm and we would have to stop this interview. A year and a half ago, we saw something new happen, and that was these arson attacks. First, it started with kites, where they would attach a very simple, rudimentary, I mean, piece of hot burning charcoal attached to a string, and it would be flown over and then dropped down, and boom. But then they got smarter, and they started using balloons. First one balloon, and now we have multiple balloons. And instead of having a hot piece of charcoal in like a little wire cage, instead what you have is an IED, which is an explosive device that literally explodes and ignites a flammable material, and poof, uh, the fields around the kibbutz or the forests immediately ignite. And that's been something that has caused a lot of distress in the past year and a half. וחבר קיבוץ עלומים פה מאחור. אנחנו נמצאים בין קיבוץ עלומים לרצועת עזה שפה מאחורינו. אנחנו נמצאים כרגע בשטח שלצערי שלשום נשרף מבלון תבערה, וזו התוצאה. So the shelters and the firefighter trailers and the uh, ATV vehicles like the one I'm sitting in right now have been a game changer when it comes to dealing with terrorism. When rockets are being fired at this region, there is only one thing, one physical thing that can protect you. And that's being inside a strong protective structure. And we have been placing shelters here. We're, pu we're putting them by kindergartens, by medical clinics, by all the places where the most vulnerable in the population are going to be situated. And so that means that now you can continue taking your child to the kindergarten without having to worry. You can take your grandparent to the Seniors Day Center. You can go and pray in the synagogue and know that because of that shelter, you can have a normal life again. ICJ Aid has literally saved and protected the lives of thousands of people and all the people who are connected with those lives. Um, I wanna say that if you're giving, then you are sitting here in this uh, ATV with me right now. We're literally running to the fire together. We're literally covering the children who are in kindergarten who are running and getting and getting safe refuge inside a shelter, and uh, that's what every dollar that you uh, that you give is actually doing. It's not some abstract, obscure. It doesn't go to. It, it goes to these things, and you are literally sitting behind the wheel with me, saving lives.